guys have scored or have allowed 16 goals in the last eight games. Um, defense, That's good. Play, defense playing better. You're happier with the That's going? Yeah, overall, overall team defense is, is much better than, than it has been in the, the week stretch that we had. It was it was poor defense. So I would play much better, yes. They had a fair amount of shots tonight, but probably not a lot of great scoring chances. Yeah, no, they, they had some. In the first period, I looked up and they had 15 shots, but they only had four scoring chances. So they, they throw a lot of pucks at the net. They do a lot of those, uh, you know, scrum type of things where they throw pucks and they go over there. So it adds up. But the, I think the scoring chances, I, and I didn't talk to my video guy, but I would think they're pretty even at the end of the game. So uh, I know in our, everybody counts them different, but I think it was 11 to 4 in the first period for us. And we, you know, we had some good looks in the first period. And, and the, funny, the funny thing is that we all looked ahead, all the good looks and some great chances. And the one we scored on wasn't, it wasn't particularly a great chance, but it just had to, Seeing my pocket sort of bounced, uh, I think it bounced over Horny's stick, and Horny did a great job on, uh, on screening for his golf, and Marty just sort of put it there, and, and, uh, and uh, lo and behold, it's there. Third goal was sort of the same way, and the puck that just bounces off. Yeah, well, you know, it, it, yeah, good things happen when you throw the puck there, but all that is created because the the, the, the guy in the middle was driving, it was Smalls was driving on that play, driving the net real hard, and then it goes off someone. And, you know, there's nothing a goaltender can do because he's he's playing that 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 sort of pass, and then all of a sudden it doesn't make it to the it's uh, its destination. It gets cut off. I think it went off their guy. Um, and those are things that you know when you drive in that hard and you just put pucks there, and good things will happen. Very similar to what, what Philly does as a as a team. They really put pucks to the to the blue paint. And, you know, it's just sort of like Simmons' goal. They just put it there, and you got to loose puck and got it to the you know, 3-2. Nice hit by Ryan Ellis. Uh, do you know that he had that in him? Just that well, you know, he just played that. I think uh, sometimes, uh, you know, I, I thought Simmons made a pretty good move on him. And sometimes as a defenseman, when the guy gets you on a really good move, I'm, I'm going to give him credit that he did that on purpose. Uh, but sometimes that's out of reaction when the guy makes a pretty good move on you. So I'll just say I didn't know it. And uh, it, would, it looked pretty impressive from the, uh, from the bench. Penalty kill in the second period. The yeah, out there. That, I mean, that was sort of the. You talk about you know one of those character shifts. You know, when sometimes when the power play is uh, is not going and change momentum, sometimes your penalty kill has a penalty kill like that like that shift where suits and webs and uh, Halley and and that you know, we're just battling. I mean, and and uh, you got to give them a lot of credit because they're, they're a very um, effective power play and. They, there's some real talented players up there. I mean, that's taxing. That's a that's a taxing shift, and it's it's easy to cut those details off and and, and, uh, and sort of give up on the play or cheat on the play. And they didn't. And, uh, you're able to just abandon that, that break. And that was to me that was a real key moment in the game. Chris, to Philadelphia, a real high-scoring team. I think second they come in and hold them to just two goals. Yeah, you know, with, with Philadelphia, you know, just watching them and what I understand uh, uh, about them, uh, you know, they were very, very effective off the rush because they had a lot of players that can make those plays through you and they've got good, good speed and, and a high execution. But and and they, they send that defenseman in, uh, you know, off the rush. And they get a lot of their goals off the rush and in the blue paint. And you, you had to win the crease area tonight. And I did. I thought we did a pretty good job of that. You know, went in the crease area on them. Uh, you know, they have a lot of people moving around. You know, D trying to jump down the wall. They have a little, a lot of those those cutback plays, uh, high cycles, a lot of those those things that can really make it hard for you to uh, defend and, and create a lot of uh, movement. And I thought we, we did a pretty good job because we had to, you know, they go into sort of what I call a two-three set sometimes. And, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty effective that way. And I thought when we were offensively, when we had some of the things that we did in terms of, uh, you know, some really good looks where you know, roll some people into the zone and out. I mean, Eos, like that one shift, he went down through the zone about three or four times and made some good plays. And, you know, it was uh, it's, it's a hard to defend, and it and, and created opportunities for both sides, really. Craig Smith's status for this week going to New York? Um, right now, yeah, you know, uh, he, 
we knew he was sick, he was a possibility, so we just we got on precautionary and we called the field room. And uh, we don't, I, right now, I would say that we'll see how he feels tomorrow. Got a little bit of a, a little bit of a bug, so we did that. Uh, and having him over and I'll have a better idea tomorrow because he's not here tonight. He was told me to stay home. And um, what else are we doing? I think Smith's in an IR. That's just for a roster spot to allow us because I don't know if Smith can uh, see what his energy levels are like. So. Is Mueller, Mueller becoming one of those guys who maybe is, you know, you know exactly what you're going to get when you bring him up? Yeah, yeah. Mules is in a, in a position where, you know, it's probably no different than like Jerry Smith was a couple of years ago. It was no different than, you know, even Vern Figler a few years back. Uh, gotcha last you know the last couple of years uh, before he became full time. Um, so you know the more he plays, the more comfortable uh, he is, and, and we are. Is that some making the trip? Um, Smithson is making the trip. Yes, I don't think he's going to play. So. It seems to be a difference in Western Conference play and Eastern Conference play, kind of the style, and um, y'all kind of. Seemed to take a lot of advantage that early in the game where you were breaking up the neutral zone. Yeah, I don't know if there's a. I think it's more team based. I don't know if it's conference based. I think it's team based. I mean, Philly, Philly is very distinctively different than, than another Eastern team that we played. Um, I don't know if, it, if it's any different. Four odd man rushes in the first period. Uh, coming into the game, did you want to have a fast pace or is that just what they were giving you? Uh, no, we want to have a fast pace. I mean, one of the things that you, you, you can counter a little bit with with teams that are really effective uh, offensively is that you got to take their, their time and space away and not allow them to cross and drop and do you know lose coverage type of situations and have send people into the zone. And, uh, so you want to have a, we want to have a high pace. But we felt that was a, 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 a real good way for us to, to attack you know a, a team that we haven't seen a whole heck of a lot and. Um, you know, we, we did a pretty good job, I thought, in the first period. You know, we, we broke up a lot of, uh, of rushes and countered on them pretty quickly. And, uh, you know, we just weren't able to fight the back of that. Suter said the game plan was for him and Webbs to face the Drew line all night. How did all you feel? Long. How did you feel they did? All night long, yeah. yeah. How did what? How, did, how do you think they did? Against they did great. Match? I mean, they really did great. Uh, it, you know, it was, a, it was some tough matches. One of the things that, that, that Peter does is he puts Drew out there. You know, if, if he doesn't like, if he sees suits and webs out there, Drew comes off and, and he just puts a centerman out from the, the, the line that two wingers are on. And if, uh, you know, Suter and Weber are on, he, he just, you know, he'll just leave Drew out there and the two wingers will change. So it was a little bit of a cat and mouse game, but uh, I guess they did a really good job. And then this ends a home stretch where you guys went 10 and 2. Do you feel like you've reestablished home ice advantage? Yeah, you know, I mean, that's in the last 12 games, that's a pretty good record in any league. And uh, yeah, yeah the, you know, the crowds have been fantastic. I mean, you know, we really got so much energy, you know, playing in our building, and, uh, and the fans really help us that, uh, that way. And I, th I thought there was a good buzz in the building today. I mean, there, you could tell right off the, the hop, it was a uh, uh, entertaining game. I, I know behind the bench and, you know, we're, we're doing line matches and all that. And uh, a couple of thoughts, you know, when I had time on it, this is actually a pretty good entertaining game to myself, you know. Uh, maybe a, a few too many rushes, uh, you know, but what I thought we handled the first period was really a, a strong period for us. Second period, uh, you know, they, they came out hard. And they're out, they, they come out of the gates real hard. That's one thing you have to be prepared for with the Philadelphia Flyers. Is, I think they get if they get ahead of you and you, you start out, start to play with a lot more risk, they start having a lot more of those counters and, and come the other way. Is Monday would that be a trap game or is it the team past that this year with intensity? Well, I'm going to talk about it. Is it a trap game? Yeah, maybe, um, maybe not. I, I don't really know. I, don't, um, I think the guys recognize that um, you know we're going on the road. We just need points uh, at the same. Time, you know, you have to always respect your opponent. I think we've learned that lesson a couple times this year. And, uh, you know, I was telling the guys just, uh, you know, yesterday that, you know, the Islanders that were watching because they just played each other uh, the last game, the Islanders actually probably deserved to win that game. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, it was a tough contest tonight. So, you know, the Islanders are a young club. They're offensively, they're very good up front. 
uh, good power play, and they can they can hurt you out there. They're maybe a little under the radar uh, in terms of that, but uh, we're going to have to play our game against them. Play on something. Thanks.